quarter of the season gone and we're in the top half of the table. Could things be starting to uh, come to a conclusion? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to episode 38 of Rebuilding Derby. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've got two games for you in the EFL Championship. We are at home to Blackburn Rovers and then at home to Bournemouth. Since you last with me we've played three games. We drew 1-1 uh, away at Preston. We lost 1-0 away to Brighton and then in the most recent game we beat Swansea 3-1. Time now for the uh, the Blackburn Rovers game, and uh, let's uh, pick the team that's going to uh, go out there and try and uh, win the match for us. So uh, hit the uh, quick bit button, and I'll just make one or two tweaks. The only change I'm going to make to that lineup is up front. I'm going to replace Tyrese John Jules with Joe Gelhart. And that leaves the team as Joe Lumley in goal, Tom Hamer, Curtis Nelson, Alfie Jones and Josh wilson Esbrun the back four, Max Baird at the base of midfield, Regan Slater, Marcus McGuane in central midfield, Connor Chaplin on the right, Ryan Longman on the left, Joe Gelhart up front. So let's uh, submit the team, go and give the team talk and uh, get into the match. Okay, so we're going to uh, agree with the uh, assistant's recommendations. We'll point the finger and pick up where you left off last time out. And let's kick the match off. And let's uh, go and do a win. So we've got the, uh, the kick off. Nelson brings it forward to Gelhart. Gelhart to McGuane. Back to Bird to Nelson. Nelson goes for the ball wide right, it's played back and it's crossed in, in fact it was a shot and it's uh, off target and the highlight ends, so we'll hit them with a demand more, ok we have had the only shot so far, Nelson now with a free kick, Slater, Hamer back to Nelson, Bird into Gelhart, Chaplin to Nelson, Nelson's going to need help, gets it from Bird, back to Jones, wide left to now uh, Wilson Esbrand, Longman, McGuane, into Slater, Regan Slater finds the back of the net, and it does count, it's Derby County 1, Blackburn Rovers 0, 10 minutes gone, great start to the match, let's uh, carry that on. And it's a throw in now on the right for Derby. Hamer to Slater to Bird. Chaplin cuts in field. McGuane back to Bird. Bird to Chaplin. Chaplin to Slater. Slater to Gelhart. Uh, Longman to Wilson S. Brown. It's played wide right but cut out by Grant. Although Chaplin wins it back. Slater to McGuane, Bird over the top, I don't think he's going to get there, he doesn't. It's a goal kick to Blackburn Rovers. And it's Blackburn with the ball, back to their goalkeeper. It's played long, but picked up by Nelson. Hamer, Slater, McGuane. Longman brings it down the left, chips it in to Galhart, who hits it over the crossbar. And it's Derby in possession again. Jones to Bird, Slater into Galhart. Slater shoots, but it's over the crossbar. So just the one shot on target so far. And it is the one that uh, divides the teams. Um, no 
obvious uh, candidates for a substitution yet. So we'll keep going. Um, Blackburn in possession in their own half. Now either going to give the ball away or score from this I think. They've given it away. Slater to McGuane to Gelhart. Chaplin looks for help, gets it from Bird. Slater to Chaplin on the right wing. Chaplin, the shot comes in, it's saved, and it's out for a derby corner. It'll be the in-swinging corner from Hamer. And Alfie Jones heads it over. So it's 1-0, 26 gone. But Derby come again, Bird back to Nelson, Nelson in to Slater, Slater all the way back to the goalkeeper, Lumley gives it to Jones, Jones to Nelson, Nelson into the feet of Slater, McGuane to Gelhart, Gelhart forced backwards, Bird goes left this time, Wilson Esbrand, Longman, McGuane looks wide right, Chaplin should keep this in, does. Finds Slater, Chaplin gets it back. Slater again. Down the line, Slater, it's fired across. If that's not a goal, it's a penalty. Um, Romerick Yappy scores an own goal. It's Derby County 2, Blackburn Rovers 0. We won't watch a replay of an own goal, we'll carry on. And we're just one point off the uh, playoffs at this stage. It's Alfie Jones to Max Bird. Back to Alfie Jones. Marcus McGuane. Down the left to Ryan Longman. McGuane and Bird go right to Slater this time, but Slater gives the ball away. And it's back with uh, Kaminsky, the Blackburn goalkeeper. Blackburn try and play it away, but it's forced back to the goalkeeper. Derby win it back, Gelhart to Slater, Longman, and the shot is blocked, it's uh, into the arms of the goalkeeper, Derby throw in on the right, Hamer, into Chaplin, Chaplin spins, finds Bird, Slater with the cross, Longman with the header, makes it three, And that's a thoroughly professional first half display from Derby County so far. We're looking good for the three points at this stage of the match. Still behind uh, Bournemouth on goal difference, so there is still an incentive to go for more. So we're going to keep trying to force the issue. But it's Blackburn this time, Spalek comes forward, crosses it in for Russian Hepburn Murphy who scores, it's 3-1, so we need to demand more, and that is the half time score, Derby County 3, Blackburn Rovers 1, uh, going well but I know you're capable of better, let's have a look at the subs. Yeah, I think Regan Slater is the obvious candidate. And we'll take him off for Jason Knight. Let's start the second half with one sub made. We'll demand more again. Grant. Back to Mohica. And that's the end of that highlight. And it's Spalek this time with the right wing corner for Blackburn. It's clear off the line, Wilson Esbrand. And it's a Blackburn throw. Derby win it back. Gelhart wide right to Chaplin. Chaplin needs to take one touch and cross it. Doesn't. Goes back. And it's given away. But Derby come again. McGuane. 
Galhart is offside. No, it's Chaplin who's offside. So that ended that highlight. And it's Chaplin with a free kick for Derby. But it's easy for Kaminsky. Who now launches it long. Headed out wide to the right. But Mohica picks it up. Hepburn Murphy. Dewsbury Hall. Grant Hepburn Murphy picks it up again. Played backwards. Shot comes in, but Lumley's wise to it and saves easily. And almost on the hour. Blackburn make a substitution. Max Bird comes forward down the right for Chaplin. Chaplin's cross, headed clear, but Longman should pick it up, does, gives it to Wilson Esbrand, inside to McGuane, inside to Bird, inside again for Knight. The shot from Knight is just over the bar. I think Chaplin is the next player to come off. And we'll bring on John Jules. And Blackburn are looking to try and get into the box. It's headed over and wide. Tyrese John Jules replaces Connor Chaplin on 68 minutes. I think the next one is going to be Nelson to come off. And it will be Osman Kakai. Come on. Ball into the box from Blackburn. Lumley gets something on the shot to tip it over. Osman Kakai replaces Nelson. It's an in swinging corner for Blackburn. Headed clear. And the highlight ends. We're into the last 12 minutes or so. And it's a Blackburn corner, outswinger this time, Mohica. It's cleared at the expense of a corner by Derby. So Blackburn have an in-swinging corner on the right wing, Mohica takes it again. It's fired in, but cleared easily. And Yappy comes forward. Down the right wing, crosses. The header is over the top. Derby survive again. And this time it's a Derby County highlight. Down there left with McGuane. Longman to McGuane again. McGuane's lost it. And it's down the right for Blackburn. But cleared by Derby and the highlight ends. Joe Gellhart, no, we've made the three subs, there are no more. It's Bird with the in swinging corner, headed clear easily. Kakai for Bird to Hamer, back to Knight. Bird is given away, but then immediately given back to McGuane. Brown with the shot, Kaminsky holds. We're into the last five minutes. It's getting very, very stretched and very scrappy. R Russian Hepburn Murphy, straight at Lumley. It's out for a corner. And it's an in-swinger from Mohica to the far post. The shot is cleared and picked up but Yappy steals and it's Mohica with the left wing throw it's crossed in headed clear by Wilson Asbrand charged down and Gelhart has it runs into the Blackburn half then the Derby right looking for a cross finds a deep cross and the highlight ends 
but it's Wilson Asbram with a left wing throw, Longman with a cross, picked up by John Jules. That's got to be a penalty, surely. Gelhart to Longman, it's into Knight. Knight puts it in the back of the net. That does make it 4 1. Surely game over at this point. Lovely goal. And three added minutes. It's Derby on the attack again. Hamer to Bird. Hamer this time to Knight. Knight with the shot. It's over the top for a goal kick. And it looks like this will be the final highlight of the game. And it's one back by Derby. Knight to Bird. Gelhart. And that ends the match. It's Derby County 4. Blackburn Rovers 1. So we'll uh, outstretch the arms. Tell them well done. That was a good win. And I will see you very shortly for the second match of the episode. Time now for the second match of today's episode. We are at home to Bournemouth in the Championship and this is the team for today's game. It is Joe Lumley in goal, a back four of Osman Kakai, Reese Williams, Luke Wolfenden and Ian Martson, Jacob Davenport at the base of midfield, Regan Slater and Jason Knight ahead of him, We've got Connor Chaplin on the right wing, Tyrese John Jules on the left and Josh Coburn up front. So submit the team and go and give our team talk. Okay, so the assistant manager is recommending, uh, say the media have given a lot of credit, go out there and put on a worthy display. Um, yeah, absolutely, let's point the finger and say that. Now let's get into the match. So it's Derby who kick off, Coburn back to Wolfenden, Davenport now to Coburn, Knight down the left to John Jules, John Jules tries a through ball, it's cut out, Bournemouth try and clear it but it's back with Wolfenden, Martson gives Wolfenden the ball back, Wolfenden to Williams, Knight with the ball over the top for Chaplin, the shot comes in but Gavin Bazunu saves easily. And it's Bournemouth corner. Bernal. Over everybody. Lewis Potter. But Lewis Potter loses it. Chaplin to Coburn. John Jules to Wolfenden. Knight. Long ball over the top for John Jules, but he won't get there. It's cleared by Blackburn. Uh, sorry, by. Bournemouth, uh, Slater, Chaplin, back to Kakai, Chaplin, into Knight, but it's out for a corner, Joe Worrell, puts it behind, it's an in-swinging corner by Davenport, headed clear, Martson picks it up, Wolfenden, Martson goes backwards to Knight, Wolfenden wide right to Davenport, infield to Chaplin, Coburn is offside but can't hit the target anyway. And so far we are on top but need to make these uh, early moments count so let's demand more. It's Barkley, Tanganga, shots charged down and then headed away. Coburn runs at the uh, black at the uh, Bournemouth defence, but it looks like there's a book in. Martson, Davenport, Slater, Chaplin skies it, and it's uh, a goal kick to Bournemouth. Six minutes gone, and it's still very much uh, Derby on top. No breakthrough. But now it's uh, Bournemouth who come forward. Although they are being pushed back slightly. But retaining possession. 
relatively comfortably. Kakai has lost the ball. King Lewis Potter absolutely la levers one into the top corner. Bournemouth's first opportunity of the game. Derby County nil, Bournemouth won. So we're going to demand more. Not really sure who was to blame for that, if indeed anybody was. John Jules looks like he's not having the best time out there. Kakai is crossed in. Davenport. Gives it to Kakai again. Kakai to Davenport. Davenport's clipped across. Back to the goalkeeper. Cleared. But Derby come again. Davenport, Slater, Coburn, Slater. Josh Coburn chips it in for his first goal of the season. And it does count. So it is Derby 1, Bournemouth 1. And let's just take a moment to appreciate the quality of the finish on this. Slightly fortunate that it deflected back to him, but uh, Coburn makes absolutely the most of the opportunity. 15 minutes gone, it's 1-1. One, one. And let's drop a demand more. Uh, Williams to Chaplin, Coburn. Bazzini tips it over. It's out for a corner. It's the in swinger from Knight. But cleared at the near post. Didn't have enough elevation on it. To clear the first man. And then it's given away, but the highlight ends. And it's a derby free kick with Kakai. Williams to Davenport. It's wide left for John Jules. Knight back to Davenport, further back now to Wolfenden, into Davenport, Slater, Kakai gives it to Chaplin, who is offside. And possibly committed a foul as well, by the looks of it. Derby have it back, Davenport to no, nope, it's given away and it's over the top and Passetto has put Bournemouth back in front 26 gone, it's Derby 1, Bournemouth 2 so we need to demand more, work out what the hell's going on at the back I think it's Davenport is the weak link Bring on McGuane. And Davenport into Wolfenden. Slater, Coburn. Josh Coburn with the shot. It is 2-2, two -two. it does count. 33 minutes gone. Derby County 2, Bournemouth 2. And what a shot that was by Coburn. He's on top of his game at the minute. 36 minutes gone. We've had much the better of it, but, uh, but Bournemouth are, uh, are well in the game. And you would not rule out them being the scorers of the next goal. Tanganga it's given away Wolfenden brings it clear Davenport to Wolfenden Slater to Davenport Wolfenden to Martson John Jules Martson Wolfenden Knight to Davenport to Coburn Coburn gets it back slips it through John Jules needs help gets it Bazunu saves Davenport's shot. And Davenport has the corner. Clipped in ball. 
easy for the goalkeeper. 2-2, Two -two. approaching half time. John Jules plays it through. Something of a mix up in the uh, Bournemouth defence. They get away with it and then bring it clear. But Chaplin has it back. Kakai, Williams. Does a pirouette, finds Davenport. Slater is through, finds the back of the net. But it's disallowed so it won't count. It is still to all. And he's just gone too early but both of them were offside. So it wouldn't have mattered which way the pass had been played. Would have been an offside flag. Half time, Derby 2, Bournemouth 2. Derby much the better side. So, um, and on a good run to so go out there and impress me. And who can come off? I think probably John Jules for Ryan Longman might be a fairly prudent move, so we'll do that at half time. And we'll send the, oh, in fact, I've not done my team talk, so we'll cancel that. Um, keep going, we'll get there eventually. Absolutely, let's go. Demand more. And Lewis Potter gives it away. But the highlight ends without Derby making anything out of it. And we're well on top, but not able to get the breakthrough. Martson with a free kick. Headed over via the crossbar. To be honest, he probably could have had a shot there unless it was a, an indirect free kick. I didn't see the referee's signal, so I don't know. Knight. It's out for a corner. Knight's going to take it himself, but we don't get to see it, so obviously came to nothing. And let's have a look. I think Knight actually is next in line to come off. It's going to be Ollie O'Neill. And Slater, nope, in fact Bournemouth have scored to give themselves the lead while we were making a sub. So it's Derby 2, Bournemouth 3. Yeah, we'll make the sub anyway. Demand more. McGuane to Wolfenden. To O'Neill, to Coburn. Longman. McGuane to Williams uh, Slater to Coburn Chaplin comes into the penalty area but then leaves it again Bournemouth smuggle it clear got no subs left so we're going attacking We're going to demand more at the next available opportunity. Kakai to Slater to McGuane to O'Neill. Coburn to Slater. Bournemouth have it back. Lerma down the left. It's played in field. Lerma loops into the arms of Lumley and he should theoretically be looking to lump this forward, he does doesn't find a, a white shirt it's down the left for Lewis Potter and it's behind I think for a corner 
Tears, it's Passato with the in swinging corner. Over the bar, and it's a goal kick to Derby. Only 12 minutes left. We're looking for demand more. Try and get a point out of this game. Tanganga with the throw in on the left. Gets it back. Lerma. Reed. Christie. Reed. It's fired in but deflected. Lewis Potter. Cleared. It's with Slater. Williams goes long. Doesn't find anybody. It's out for a throw in to Derby. Kakai. To Chaplin. Kakai gets it back. Slater. Chaplin to Kakai, all the way back to the keeper, to Wolfenden, to the left and Martson, Longman, crossfield ball, too far in front of the onrushing Derby players, Bazunu has it, it's taking his time, and it's coming back at, uh, at Bournemouth. Longman down the left. It's Bazuni with the ball forward. But Derby will have another chance. All over the top. Josh Coburn. But it's not going to stand. We've had another goal disallowed. And that is going to be the difference between us getting a point and not. Wolfenden to O'Neill, Wolfenden, ball's given away, the whistle goes for full time, and it is Derby 2, Bournemouth 3, and if we'd had the two goals that were disallowed, we would actually have won the game, so I will be mentioning that to the officials. Um, it is disappointing we didn't win, but... I think we'll go with, uh, we didn't get the result we wanted, but you should all be happy. And they are, so that's absolutely fine. And I will see you very shortly for the league table and uh, the fixtures where we'll decide when we're going to come back. So we'll start off with the uh, the league table, and as you can see, we are in ninth position with 20 points from 13 games, two points off a playoff position, and we've played the same number of games as everybody above us. So we're in a decent but not spectacular position, and in terms of the schedule, let's have a look at when we might come back. And I think what we will do is we will come back for the games against Norwich and Barnsley at the start of December. So we'll play the whole of uh, November off camera and I'll bring you back for the Norwich game. That will be on the, uh, the next uh, episode and uh, that one will take place on Friday so uh, if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to my channel for regular football manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye <laughs>